Once upon a time, there was a beautiful mountain resort community called Snowmass Village, where everyone was friendly, happy, and always having fun. One fall day, a bulldozer digging in the Ziegler Reservoir found a huge bone. It was the bone of a young female Colombian mammoth who was named Snowy. The Denver Museum of Nature and Science dug up more and more bones belonging to mammoths, mastodons, bison, a giant ground sloth, and parts of other animals, plus plant life. That's why you'll hear people say, I, I dig snowmass. snowmass. Everyone was curious about Snowy and her friends, and Snowy was just as curious about Snowmass Village. What were people saying about her reappearance in the 21st century? What did they know about her and her friends? So, she began her journey to get the answers. Don't get mad at a mastodon. Don't go pushing him aside. In the cafeteria, he will cause hysteria if his patience is tried. Give him silverware and napkins, place them neatly on his tray. But don't get mad at a mastodon. Simply step aside and let him have his way. Snowmass Patrol, we've just spotted a mammoth. We do have a positive mammoth sighting here at Snowmass. I was just texting my friends about you. I can't wait to learn more about you and your friends when they get dug up. I hope uh, that Snowmass is discovered this summer. Uh, more people come to uh, dig at the site, of course, but I think that the, uh, the intriguement is going to be that a whole new culture is coming here. Hmm, I wonder what it would have been like fighting fires in the prehistoric days. Actually, I think mammoths would have been great firefighters. They have a big old hose on the front of their face, flat feet to stomp out brush fires, and they're vegetarians. They could eat a whole forest before it burned down. Oh, how many bones? Over 600, correct? 600. 600 bones and more to come. I would think a lot of people would be interested in finding out about that, finding out more about the, you know, the, the ancient history of Snowmass. Probably the uh, snowshoe hare, but some people will disagree and say the elephant. An elephant. An elephant. Probably something close to an elephant. elephant. I think this discovery is is uh, so exciting because it really gives us an insight into how old this valley is and the kind of animals that roamed uh, so long ago. I wonder what it would be like for me back in that time. I think traffic, rush hour traffic would be the biggest challenge. All right, let's move it, move it. Mastodon, you hold up right here. Slow moving sloths, let's get going, please. Come on. Probably about 250 to 300 pounds. This is probably about two tons. I'd say about oh, 1,100 pounds. A thousand pounds? About a thousand pounds. It's something different. It's not out of the ordinary. It's something that goes right with the word snowmass being out of the ice age and shows that we weren't the first here. Boy, mammoths would be my best friend. They could help me build the roads. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my gosh. There, it's about time you showed up with tusks like that. I've been wondering where you've been. And do you have a sweet tooth or sweet tusk? That wonderful piece of ivory, but I'm not sure if mastodons are ivy or not. Aren't they their nose? Or their ears? No, I don't know. <laughs> it is. 
busk is actually teeth. Good answer. Oh, it's going to put us on the map for sure. People are going to know about Snowmass now for years to come. People will actually come to Colorado just for looking at these tusks and seeing what, what can be found at 8,000 feet. Oh, I'm pretty sure they were like nine feet tall and bulletproof if I've heard correct. The Columbian Mammoth has got to be about 10 feet tall. Taller than this roof right here. Huh, I wonder what it would be like to be an animal service officer back in those days. When I'm doing trail patrol, it'd be like walking along. Oh man, you need to pick up after your mastodon. We're gonna try to figure out how can we take these finds, these animals, and you know, show the world. What happened in the 45,000 to 150,000 plus years ago? So when people go on vacation, they like to do other things than just ski, mountain bike. If they have something that they can learn when they're gone, they get to take home more than a picture from when they go to places like Snowmass Village with the Mastodon uh, Discovery Center. So this will forever change what Snowmass Village has in our history. Snowy, wait a minute. So when you want to ski big in winter, or hike, bike, and enjoy outdoor adventure and special events in summer, come to Snowmass Village and look for Snowy and her friends. You never know what fun you're going to dig up.